everybody Todd Metalhead weatherman here hopefully everyone's doing well today we're gonna be talking about Ernesto today and yesterday we saw Ernesto become a hurricane he's since then strengthened as you can see on satellite looks really good now pretty well organized you can see a pretty distinct eye starting to take shape here and it's still anticipated to strengthen right now we're sitting at a category one storm with 85 miles an hour wind and we're expecting this to make it up to a high-end cat 2 maybe there's still a chance of it going to cat 3 but i do think there's going to be some inhibiting factors over the course of the next couple of days that are going to make that very much questionable as to whether or not it takes that next step the further north it goes we're going to start to see a less favorable environment so this is anticipated to weaken ever so slightly but as far as the tracks concerned not much has really changed the u.s no direct impacts from this up and down the east coast the biggest thing we're going to be dealing with is increased surf and mostly rip currents really at this point not much in the way of wind rain or anything of the like even at this point a lot of uh can over towards nova scotia looks like you're going to be staying out of the direct path here now over here maybe towards new maybe towards this region here i'm not entirely familiar with where this area is i'll look it up a little bit later in the video and correct it i'll probably put like a caption up here or something but this area may get some impact from it like i said for the most part i really think for, for the majority of impacts for north america as a whole here it's going to really just be more so maybe surf rip currents and for this region maybe some increased wind and rainfall depending on what the storm looks like at this point because it is going to weaken considerably and become post-tropical as you can even see indicated here by tuesday morning but bermuda however unfortunately still squarely in the sights of ernesto here we're expecting a very close pass if not a landfall over bermuda we will try to go live and see what we can cover out of that on saturday morning here so gonna be uh, some pretty interesting images that we end up getting out of there with that hopefully uh you'll stop in and see what we have going on there also looking at the spaghetti models of course we know the model agreement is mainly going to be towards bermuda and then staying for the most part out to sea there could be a couple islands over here that also get a little bit of impact from ernesto or what will probably be left of it what, what I'm really interested in is the intensity uh, spaghetti models here. Now, the other day, we were seeing a couple more models here kind of leaning into maybe this storm making Category 3. We've seen a decrease with that, whereas now maybe one, two, possibly three models bring it right up to that Cat 3 threshold briefly, right before it starts to drop off. By the time we get towards Saturday, as we mentioned before, get up into that area where we're going to be dealing with increased shear and also maybe some dry air aloft as well. It's going to help weaken the storm as we go further along here. Some of the some of these uh, spaghetti models I'm I'm not reading into too much because some of these are really bold, but we use this because it gives us a general idea of what the storm is doing here and what we can anticipate here. The more spaghetti models you see the greater confidence you have of course but as you can see not really much of anything going on beyond um cat 2 for the most part the majority of these storms keep it below cat 3 the majority of these models keep it below cat 3 status here so looking at the environment itself that's ahead for ernesto here one thing that's working in its favor is the fact that we have very warm sea surface temperatures here getting close to 90 degrees Fahrenheit, which would be, which would translate roughly to about maybe 32 degrees Celsius. We're just a little bit below that. 80 degrees is usually the minimal threshold. So this storm is still gonna sustain itself for a while. And you can see that as it continues to go on here. Waters are plenty warm enough to keep this thing going on and on. So it's gonna keep its tropical characteristics for a while here. Once we get over towards this region, it's questionable as to what happens next. But of course, once we start to get into these green and blues right here, we're dropping below that 80 degree threshold. And of course, the storm is going to lose all its steam and its tropical characteristics as a whole. So this is what, for the most part, is working for it right here is the water. What's working against it is this trough that's coming in here. 
and this trough is going to be the reason why this doesn't make it anywhere close to the US here but this is also what's going to kick this thing right into Bermuda because once this trough catches it it's just going to fling it straight out into the ocean here and then after that once that trough leaves it's going to kind of wander around over here and then it's questionable like I said it's still questionable as to what happens here I'm seeing uh, models kind of going a couple of different ways but for the most part I think these still look like they're favoring the storm staying out to sea there are a couple of models here that are leaning towards maybe an impact over here. I'm not entirely sure just what to expect with that, though. Other thing that's working against it, of course, is a little bit of dry air on the western flank here. It's going to kind of wrap around the south side as well. I think that's also going to help weaken the storm. If this area was a little bit more moist, we would probably be talking about maybe a Cat 3 plus storm, maybe even Cat 4. Of course, we continue to go on here. Gets into better moisture, and it's helped. This is kind of what helps it keep some of its tropical characteristic, but like I said, the water's up here as we get further up towards North America. It gets colder, especially obviously as you get towards Greenland and Iceland. So eventually, as we know, this is going to lose its tropical characteristics. But unfortunately, it looks like Bermuda is going to be dealing with the brunt of this storm at this point. So that being said, let's take a final look at a model here. This is going to be looking at the uh, central low pressure here and some of the winds that are surrounding the center here. Like I said, this is going to make a this is going to make a very close approach to category three here. We're literally about one mile an hour off of it. So the winds here are going to be very impressive. This is when it makes its pass towards Bermuda here. This is early on Saturday morning. This model, interestingly enough, has the overall center missing it, but it's going to end up catching the right front quadrant of this. So it could be tropical tornadoes, very, very strong winds on that right front quadrant, which is very typical of um, Atlantic systems. So still going to be very problematic for the island nation there. And then eventually, as we go further along here, we're going to see this weekend. And this one's kind of favoring a little uh, landfall over here towards the region this region here towards North America so maybe something worth watching not entirely sure we'll see if that ends up if I'm able to cover that at that point obviously I'll be starting work again at that point in time so a lot to uh, a lot to take in a lot to digest with this system as we go further into the future I think there's a lot of variability with the forecast as well so we'll be making further updates as we get closer and closer to the Bermuda event and then seeing what happens next but in any case appreciate you guys being here make sure you stay tuned for further updates I've got outlooks coming soon since it's towards the middle of the month most of my regulars you know how this goes but that being said it's been Tyre Metalhead Weatherman you guys take care and have an awesome rest of your day